leaders. First Samuel chapter 17. Chapter 14. Chapter 14. One day, Jonathan, son of Saul, said to the young to the young man bearing his armor, Come, let us go over to the Philistine outpost on the other side. But he did not tell his father. Jump to the six. Verse six. Verse six. Jonathan said to his young Amabel, Come, let us go over to the outpost of these uncircumcised fellows. Perhaps the Lord will act in our behalf. Nothing can hinder the Lord from serving whether by many or by few. Seven. Verse seven. Do all that you have in mind, his armor bearer said. Go ahead. I am with you, heart and soul. Verse eight. Let's keep running. Jonathan said, come. Then we will cross over towards the men and let them see us. Let them do what? See us. Let them do what? See us. If they say to us, wait there until we come to you, we will stay where we are and not go up to them. Ten. But if they say, come up to us, we'll climb up because that will be our sign that the Lord has given them into our hands. Eleven. Verse 11. Verse 11. I want us to read verse 11 together. To really give us 11, chapter 1, 2, 3, 4. So both of them showed themselves to the Philistine outpost. Look, said the Philistine. The Hebrews are crawling out to the in. I want to share this morning on a subject. Positioning ourselves for influence. Positioning yourself for influence. You were born to be a man of influence. You were born to be a woman of influence. It is not the will of God for you to be struggling. It is not the will of God. Can I preach this Sunday for you to be struggling? You were born to be a man to be charged. You were born for success. Israel is a nation. Israel is a nation in covenant with God. It's a covenant keeping nation. It's a nation in covenant. And as a nation in covenant, Israel. Israel. Mm. Cannot lose any battle. Israel. Israel. Wherever you go, you have to be successful. Wherever you go, you must take charge. But I understand Israel. The Philistines have come to fight. Our Philistines And Israel is in hiding. I believe that's the position of the church right now. I believe that's the position of the believers now. The believers, the church, which is supposed to be an authority, which is supposed to be the light of the world, is in hiding. The believers, was supposed to take charge, but not in charge. They are not ruling. But I bring good news. We have to position ourselves back into our place. And place the place of influence. And place into our place. And place of authority. And place of influence. And place of influence. And place Jesus says, I will build my church. 
church of power the gates of hell shall not prevail this church that I will be all authority must bow to the church I want to declare to you the church of Jesus is a place of power it's a place of authority it's a place to rule it's a place to be the light ladies and gentlemen the church has lost the power but Jesus says I will build my church the Pharisees cannot destroy the Pharisees cannot defeat the devil but my church the gates of hell shall not prevail Get speaks of power. Speaks of authority. That's when it, it comes to the church. Everything stops at the church. Sickness has to stop at the church. Witchcraft must end at the church. Poverty must end at the church. The gentlemen, the church has power. But we have come to a position where we do not demonstrate that power. The church has power. The church is not an ordinary organization. The church is not an ordinary group. The church is not an any, any other group. It is a place of power. It is a place of solution. It is The church cannot be in hiding anymore. There are so many things that must change. Including how long it takes to have a scripture on the screen must change. Including the way we manage our time must change. Including the way we keep the house of God must change. Including the way we keep the surrounding must change. Because we have to position ourselves. That is a gentleman that is an assignment. Everything must change. Our attitude must change. 
Next Sunday, I'm going to deal with those. I can assure you, this church cannot remain poor. I can guarantee it. If you are willing and obedient, you cannot be poor under this ministry. I promise you, my brother, you will never be poor. Amen. I will not just preach the gospel of change. I will preach what will change people. I will not just tell you salvation. After you are saved, you must be changed. You must be prosperous. That's the gospel. So I have spoken to instruments, the weapons. It's a time of fight. They have no weapons. The one young man, the name of Jonathan, he tells his armor bearer, he says, number one, he tells this, this, this armor bearer, let's go out there. We are tired of hiding. We are we are tired of poverty. We are tired of struggle. We are not meant to struggle. We are covenant people. Why should they uncircumcised? Why should the humans prosper? That's what a relationship with God. It's not known. It's not known. It's not known. Let us go. Today. Those who have decided to hide, let them remain. Let them remain. The sons will learn from Jonathan. Number one, Jonathan says, Jonathan, our God, perhaps our God will fight for us. God does not fail. God saves by many or by few. There are many Philistines there. If we are few, it doesn't matter how few we are. God still saves. Jonathan says, God will not fail. I have faith in God. So let's go. Three. Number one lesson. Jonathan's faith in God. Jonathan is the one who will save us. Number two, Jonathan's initiative. Jonathan, you could change it up one Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know that ninety percent of the miracles Jesus performed? So why is that percent to your room like why? But you should go shop on Zephyr. Yes, we are going to meet. Ninety percent of the miracles Jesus performed. If you should go shop on Zephyr, yes, we are going to meet. It was not Jesus who started the initiative. Yes, we are going to meet. No. How? The initiative was from the the one who wanted to meet the meal. Who could go back and be our wife for a should go shop? Jonathan makes an initiative. Jonathan, Abraham gets into the problem. The believers most of the time. Who want to have a battle to get into a quarter? We are always fighting defensive battles. We are always defending ourselves. We are always protecting ourselves. But this is a time when we will not defend ourselves, but we will rise up and begin to attack. Begin to have initiative. The trouble that you have is waiting for initiative. You have tried too much. It's been too much pain. Make an initiative. You are waiting on God, and God is waiting on you. What are you doing about it? Why are you crying? The Bible speaks to Moses when he was crossing the Red Sea with the children of Israel. The Bible says when he looked upward, he saw the Egyptians coming, and he cried to the Lord. God spoke to Moses. He says, "Why are you crying to me?" In other words. Don't cry to me. I have given you everything. 
Jose. You have the road. Now, what the road? Strike the road. Who are the party members? I'm bringing strange doctrine. Dangerous doctrine. Dangerous gospel. It has to change our mindset. Some people are too lazy. Hiding in trail. Mm -hmm. Some people are too lazy. Mm -hmm. When the ghost does get trail. From morning till evening. You know what they can't read it? They can't even study at school. They are lazy at work. Always full of excuses. Somebody told me that there is one person, if I've done the trade fair there, the trade fair has said they would rather uh, 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 ask Jehovah's Witnesses to be manning the gate than Pentecostal. I was like, my attitude must change. I was like, my attitude must change. And I mean it, our attitude must change. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. But our attitude must change. Amen. Amen. Don't hide in prayer. Ninety percent of the miracles Jesus did. If you saw Jesus in Jesus, you saw him. It was not Jesus who started. Look at the woman with an issue of blood. The Bible says, and the woman came behind Jesus. It simply means Jesus had passed already. I have an assignment. The woman says, I, I, you cannot bypass. So she went behind because she knew that it's me who needs a miracle.
time will not. I will come. He had to use his initial. I do not know whether he is going this side or going this side or which side. I can't see. But I can shout. I have one thing I can use. My voice. I know my voice. They cannot see me. But I can use my voice. He can, they can sideline me. But they cannot sideline my voice. He shouted. Jesus says, Yes, what is Where? Who is this? They said he's blind. Don't worry about it. Jesus says, Bring him to me. Yes, what is it? Your initiative can attract the supernatural power. You are just too lazy. Ah, living water. You are just too lazy. You've got a nice building, but less. You've got a nice but less. There are many churches who are struggling in classes, but they are trusting. They are doing things. Ladies and gentlemen, we have what it takes. Listen, bring it to me. The same people who were telling him, Shut up. Jesus is going. They went to him. They said, Be of good cheer. The master is calling. Do you know that if you follow people, people can bury you? It was Jonathan's initiative. Jonathan? He decided. As a they went out. Today, I pass it. Never use your initiative. Waiting upon God. Waiting upon my father. Don't miss next time. I'm going to deal with some nonsense. I'm going to deal with some nonsense. Where in the body of Christ? Because I believe in your prosperity. I believe in your success. This church has changed. Zambia must change. Zambia is very happy. I'm prepared to pay any price. I ask all of you to pray for me. I'm ready to pay any price. I've already engaged DC. 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 I went to a change my mind. I'm glad I went. Mm. Amen. 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 Let me prepare the church. Three things we have to build on. Number one, we have to build our character. To character. Number two, building character. If this church is going to have influence in the city, we as a church, we must have a good character. 
You as an individual must have good character. Integrity. You mean what you say. And you say what you mean. Integrity as a church. And you know, character is built over a period of time. And I know we've been here for some time. We must build the character of the church. So that the outside world, when they look at us as a church, they say, yes, we can, we can follow. What chases people is character. In the church they are fighting. In the church you don't even talk to your neighbor. In the neighborhood you don't even greet anybody. Character. In the church there is even witchcraft. Hallelujah. Amen. Character. Tell me about change your character. There was a there was a, 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 a wedding. And uh, the the father of the bride was giving a speech. And he said something to the people who are gathered. He was very excited. And he said, This is my daughter who is getting married. She has been very, very good from childhood. She has always followed. Our instructions. We are proud of our daughter. This daughter has no character. <laughs> then I never check your character. Check your character. Check your character. Now to him, character means something bad. We must check our character. <laughs> Some of the things we do here are not right. Ask your neighbor, how many people do you talk to in this church? <laughs> Sometimes some people, your character opposes people, repels people. Nobody wants to associate with them. Because they know. I pray as a church. We will have a character that attracts. It is not the building. It is people. Hallelujah. Amen. Character. You have the art of dealing with people. The church must have a good character. Yes. If we are going to attract the city, if we are going to affect the city, the character of the church is very important. Amen. 
Not you're busy praying. Inside your busy praying. Who will punish you? Who Oh my father, my father, who will punish you? My father, my father, my father, my The character of the church. They must know that I have no hidden agenda. I have no secret. That's why they say, if this one will go to heaven, I will also go. We know how it's a nail that they have. The character. There is a gentleman we are polluted. The change of the living God. That's why we must arise and right. begin to work on ourselves. The world out there is waiting. They are waiting for the change. Because the church of Jesus has the power has to stop the activities of the enemy. That's why the devil does not fear. Even in the church, people are coming there. These doctors are in the church. We can people in the church. But the church, Jesus is building. The Bible says the gates of hell. That's a capite. As a church, we have to build it. We have to check ourselves. The character of the church. You say something, and you mean what you say. I must behave. They are checking you. But they know you go to the They know you are a Christian. Shake yourself. You are an ambassador of Jesus. You are not here to waste your time. You are a member of the church. You have joined at your own risk. You have to change. Or else you Christ will vomit you out. 